For my palette, I like earth colours, I think, predominantly. Um, I like uh, Prussian blue, French ultramarine and Windsor yellow. Um, I've got my little palette here and I tend to use those same colours um, most of the time. Um, I like magenta as well. I find magenta is a really useful mixing colour. I get wonderful oranges if I use magenta with uh, Windsor yellow. Um, and I like colours that are semi-transparent or transparent. I love layering. Um, I like the feeling of something that's quite luminous. And I think, um, I think I like watercolour best when, when you really feel the almost transparent qualities of it. I mean, when I teach, um, some of the students say, you know, how can I get a really good orange? And they, they think that I should use um, cadmium red. Um, and I say, no, don't do that. Because you'll get a muddy, you'll get a muddy purple or you'll get a muddy orange. Use magenta. Because if you use magenta with that lovely Windsor yellow, you'll get this really bright, vibrant orange. Um, and if you use magenta with, let's say, a Prussian or a, or a French ultramarine blue, again, you'll get a really lovely purple. You won't get a muddy colour. So um, magenta, for me, is, is one of the crucial colours in my paint box. I think one of the great things about the sticks, um, you know, something like this one, um, I can get fantastic textures. Now, with the um, with these pens, I think the joy is being able to be able to write with them, and also um, use a ruler. But I've also noticed with these pens, you can use them in a in a flexible way too. So um, you can um, sponge out some of the colour and start creating texture as well. Um, I mean, they're an incredible shortcut in a way, particularly if you're going to be using text in your work, and I, I do use text in my work, or something very precise, where precision is essential. Um, you're going to be able to create it with, with, with these pens. So I used um, one of the pens to write all the lettering and I also used a ruler with the pen to get these straight lines. Nothing smudged and it was really easy to draw the lettering. I didn't have to use a paintbrush and a paintbrush, well, it would have taken me <laughs> days if not months and I'm not sure actually with the paintbrush whether, whether I could have achieved the same precision. I have a feeling I couldn't have done. Um, and then I had the joy of being able to uh, smudge the, some of the areas where, when I wanted to, to create this idea of this, this object being very, very old and maybe, you know, got a bit of rain on at some point or coffee cup stain or whatever. So some of these are, are or with me using a traditional paintbrush and, and paint. But I think it's important to give it this sort of atmosphere um, and then it becomes a work of art rather than just a, some sort of Xerox copy of the original. Um, Yesterday I was working on this chess set. This was a chess set and I actually used the, um, the sticks for this because they give a lovely texture and I wanted to capture the texture of wood um, and I was able to use two, two of the sticks um, working in a horizontal manner. Um, I mean, it's quite interesting because one of the reasons why I don't take watercolours out onto Hampstead Heath is that I can't really cope with 
with all the water and the equipment and having knows what else. Because what I'm trying to do is capture something quite quickly. I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to come across that, that inspires me. So if I see a foxglove, I want to be able to catch it immediately, you know, literally, with my pencil, with the book, and then home. But of course, now I've got the sticks and I've got the pens, it might be that I could just literally, you know, put a couple in my pocket and off I go, no problem. So it'll be very interesting to see, see how my work changes as a result. I mean, if you were going to ask me to describe my style, I'd say that I come out of an interest in realism, a love of early Renaissance painting, particularly Dürer, and I spent many years painting in a very precise way, trying to capture nature, um, looking at the particular rather than the general. Um, and Dürer, I suppose, would be my hero, um, if, if I had to name anyone. I use watercolour because I love the aqueous quality of it. I love the luminosity of it and I love the pure colour and the fact that one can work in a very uh, precise way but also allow the watercolour to become very fluid and messy and make very beautiful patterns. For me it's the, it's the most beautiful medium of all.